miserable. Ladies and gentlemen, you're here in the presence of miserable, my partner. The least thing I have done in my life. Let's kill that shit. So it's me, you, and the shivers down in your spine. I got your body, your mind, and your body, your mind. I figured your body wouldn't mind if your body was mine. Guess that's why I'm digging you. It's like your body's a mine. Okay, I'm on over you like a dose of reject. I'm like the bank, you earn money breathing over your neck. Or is it down? Doesn't matter, cause the point is that this is about to be the best mistake you'll ever make. I confess, and so no, yes, I'm on over you like a dose of reject. I'm like the bank, you earn money breathing over your neck. Oh, yes. This might be the biggest mistake in the bed. Guess this might be the biggest mistake in the bed. Yes, no, yes. I'll teach you. Kiss. 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 Kiss.
and you do some production work as well. Um, the production work, I think, is just the job okay. at this point because of where I am in it. Mm -hmm. I work for the broadcaster in, in the sports department. Yeah. You know, so, and I mean, I love sports, up the bucks, but that's not really what I want yeah. to do every day. So it's paying my bond, it's paying my son's medical aid, it's it's, getting, it's keeping us afloat, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I'm focused really on the music. The bags are something like, you know, a friend would be like, who told me? Like, I, um, I, I need that bag, yeah. you know? So I'll, I've got like 20 unfinished bags at home that I'm slowly getting to finishing, but my priority is Zuko collecting. Okay. Do you come from a musical family? I wouldn't say my, my family is musical. My family is spiritual. That I'm going for, you see, my mom, mom just throw of the highest level. Yeah. You know, so obviously with prayer comes music. Of course. With prayer comes singing. That's that's it. Know? With what they, washing the dishes comes singing. Yeah. You know? Before before we came with the one, how is our Abba to go somewhere? Mm -hmm. We have to pray for you. Then I'll feel well. Do you know what I mean? That's the thing. But so <coughs> music season. music comes to me through that through my spiritual family rather than my musical family. You're obviously a part of something bigger, um, a part of a generation, an era of creatives. We're just trying to cultivate. Who are some of the people that you study and you sort of try and you know build from from previous sort of musical generations? Who influences you? First and foremost, I don't think I'm a musician because you know, or like it's my calling. I wouldn't have chosen, I don't think, knowing what I know now, I'd still choose to do what I do. <laughs> it's rough. It's, it's rough. rough. Okay. You know, so, first and foremost, music is my calling. It's not like some occupation or something I've been studying. So, I've never studied anyone. No, no, not studying. No, 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 I hate, I hate, okay. I hate, I hate. Yeah. But, if teardrops for pennies and heartaches, no, if you don't know that that's Dolly Parton, then you're too young. But, <laughs> There are musicians that I've, I've, I've studied, learned from, learned you know, from. admired, listened to over and over and again, you know. The way people play with, I like how, how people play with their voices, mm -hmm. you know. I'm, I'm, I've got nothing against Beyonce and the Beyonce's and Mariah's of the world, but like, there's texture in this thing, it's an instrument, you know. So I've studied people who, who aren't necessarily strict or like, I don't know what the word is. Who aren't very conventional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not about the boxes. I've, I think I just, I love Mama Rebecca Malop. Of course, you yeah. Know? I used to have that vibe, vibe situation going on for a very long time. How do you handle that pre sort of stage thing that you go through before a performance? Um, I think something off topic but on topic and part of my response is that Something people don't realize is that the person on stage is a person outside of uh -huh. actually a person with problems yeah. and like ambitions and desires and all that other stuff that you also have, you know. Yeah. So there's being on stage and you get on or you're backstage and you can see onto the audience and you're like, I invited this person and Q said she was coming, mm. but she's not here yet. Yeah. Ah, Q, ma. And you put your song in the set, brah, yeah. you know. And then there's, yo, that guy said he's coming, he's here. It's and the he's moment, yes, yeah. you know. And then there's like, yo, I have to sing that song. I forgot the words. Mm. Oh, man, you know. Or like, I have to sing the song and I know I'm going to probably cry. So there's all that stuff going through your mind and then you get on stage and it's I'm the talker of the band and I can babble and babble and babble so there's like don't talk too much. Okay, are your lips dry? Are your lips not dry? You're okay. Water. You know? It's it's but then you get on and then you sing your first song and then someone sings your lyrics back to you. And then you're like, whoa. I'm home. Yeah. I'm home. How, what does that do to you? Like inside? It does two things. Yeah. It's that I'm home thing, but then as soon as there's that I'm home, comfort, comfortable, settling feeling, the spirit of what I'm actually doing here, the, the spirit of the calling takes yes, over, then I'm trained. For me, I look at the art from the craft spiritual perspective, and then I also look at it from the perspective of my three-year-old niece is going to want to study musical theatre or music. And 
There needs to be structures that are going to sustain that so the gift comes to life. So for the sake of those things, we need, even you doing your production work, that's you meeting society halfway because you can't live off the crop. That's how you cultivate that. That's my understanding, right? I can agree with that. Yes. How have you had to do that? Like to get people to take you seriously in the light and get them to see you in the light that you want to be seen, either musically or otherwise, within the arts. You see, it's like you're asking me two questions now. I was giving a, a, a basis and then... There's, you see, you've put two, two things in my mind. Okay. The one is them taking me seriously. Yeah. Guys. I don't care. Do you know what I mean? Just in a sense of like, I was telling the guys just now, most of my Instagram pictures look like this. You know, like I'm a, I, I like being an idiot. I like talking dark and like, you know, just being. And, and the basis of my band is B. Like, we have a song now where we like, Ca -ca! And, oh! and like make sounds and weird things because we're just being. It doesn't matter if you're irritated. Some people look irritated when we do that. It's okay. Feel. It's okay. We're all allowed to feel. Tell your truth. That was our first like thing. Hashtag tell your truth. You know, so in a sense of that, I don't care if they take me seriously or not. What I do care about is whether Uliwala Mapagata takes me seriously, you know, and knows, okay, well, my mom, one, two, three. There was one, two, three, you know, and, and my mom and my family, that, those opinions I care about. But, I could sing a Kwaito song today, tomorrow I'm rapping, sing ning, you shall pro. You know, I, I don't care what you think of what I'm doing, I'm here to feed my soul and express myself. And sometimes it's an out of body experience because like we said, I'm a vessel and, and that's what's happening. On the flip side, it's, I'm not sleeping on anyone's couch. I own property, I pay a bond every month. I have medical aid. Do you know what I'm saying? So I take myself seriously. Okay. I take myself seriously. I'm not one of those on, on my friend's couch, wins the next gig, oh guys, put me on the guest list. I'm not that type. Uh -huh. And I mean, call me. It's okay to call your friends and ask for the guest list, but don't make it a habit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, love so, yourself, man. Love yourself and love what you're doing. I think it's so wrong of young artists coming up to think, yeah, man, you know, I'm just going to do this thing. No, get a job. Yeah. Clean if you must. Yeah. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. Season one, Sinking Chief. With myself, Q, and uh, you know, I'm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, there, man. Um, thank you for joining me today. I know I always hook you up with dope interviews. Like, my people are awesome. Like, come on. Let's just like, be real now. So, yeah, man. Um, thank you so much. That was another interview with the dope.